Nine X. It's the morning X. Barnes and Leslie. Good morning, Fram. How are you? I feel so much better today. Fram, your ticket into show business may be today. We've got a big segment coming up in an hour. Ask a casting director. I do actually have a few questions, although we want to send it out to the fans. We've heard your acting, Fram. This could be the time we work it out. <laughs> My acting is terrible. <laughs> we could work it out. Don't ever let her hear bad DJ theater. I might. Raven Drummer's coming up from Tyler Perry Studios, and we're going to take your calls at 470-741-4999 with Ask a Casting Director. It's coming up just after 8. Right now, Celebrity Sleaze with Leslie Fram. This continuing story, Barnes, true crime, federal agents raiding homes in L.A. and Miami connected to Diddy. Man. Reportedly in conjunction with a federal sex trafficking investigation a lot of people were detained during the raid as well, and it hasn't been confirmed, but his sons, Justin Combs and King Combs, may have been placed in handcuffs. Homeland Security Investigations in New York uh, talked about this. They had, like, Home Security, Homeland Security LA, Miami, all of the local law enforcement all involved. And then did you see that weird video of Diddy just sort of at the airport walking yeah. around that TMZ caught? It's really wild to watch. Whenever you see that helicopter footage, you just have to stop and look. But on Monday afternoon when I saw all that going down, they were, they came in hot, which tells me that there was some evidence they were trying to preserve or that they think is on either a computer or something. But now all these weird videos are popping up of Diddy from the past that seem really awkward. In hindsight. It's really awkward. And I think, you know, apparently, you know, I'm, as you mentioned, looking for laptops, flash drives, anything in connection. We'll see if, if he's going to be investigated, who's going to be arrested. This is a crazy story. Well, now they're tying in Usher and Bieber. They're saying that there's more stuff to come, supposedly, those in the know. I don't know what, but apparently this is going to be bubbling. Barnes, Tiffany Haddish is sober. Yeah, she was on this podcast with Amanda DeCadnet, The Conversation, saying she's sober. I have a few questions about her speech in this. Please, please do. Have a listen. So do you think you're going to stay sober or you don't know because you're going a day at a time well, here? I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm definitely not going to be drinking no time soon unless this is the only thing that's going to get me drinking. OK, <laughs> like, I got I got a few reasons why I might have a drink. OK, okay. tell me them. I went to Oscar. Gonna have gonna have a shot of vodka for that, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, if one of my family members die, I'm gonna have a shot of vodka for that. Okay. Not no whole bunch, just a shot. And if I get engaged to be married, I'm gonna I'm gonna get face drunk one night, just so he can see my full crazy. <laughs> What's going to so happen he, then? He might be like, not sure uh, about this. <laughs> but that'll be it. Because I have to say, in these 70 days, like waking up and not having all my joints on fire, my body feeling like it's burning, the aching, the brain fog, the all, the, the, all those bad feelings, not feeling that. I feel like it's 1998 again. <laughs> I feel like I'm a teenager again. Okay. I love Tiffany Haddish. I think she's I too. funny as hell. But you can't pull the California. That's not even California sober. Like, that's even, you, you can't have the stipulation list. You're still in denial. I still don't understand that stipulation list that a lot of people do. I do. You know, she says, I haven't drank any alcohol, smoked any weed, or anything in like 72 days. I'm going to stop, but here's my list just in case. That's kind of funny, actually. But yeah, if you're going to stop, you kind of have to stop. Uh, you know, to movie fans, Goldie Hawn is a legend, correct? People love Goldie Hawn. Her son says that life with her wasn't always golden. I was shocked by this. Oliver Hudson, her son who's now 47, talked about the trauma he felt growing up as one of a son of one of Hollywood's biggest stars. Quote, my mother was the one that I had almost the most trauma about because she was my primary caregiver and I was with her all the time. That podcast he does with his sister, Kate Hudson, called Sibling Rivalry, he claimed Hudson would, quote, introduce new boyfriends that I didn't really like. Mm. Is he promoting something right now? No, but, you know, he did say she was an amazing mother. But that quote 
has gone so viral about yeah. his trauma. And everybody's like, trauma? Where did this come from? We thought you guys were a close-knit family. Don't you save stuff like this for when the person has passed? And maybe, like, later on you, s- you have... It just seems weird that his living mother he's throwing this out there at. I don't know. Have a listen. She was my primary caregiver. And I was with her all of the time. So... I felt unprotected at times. Um, She would be working in a way or she had new boyfriends that I didn't really like. She would she'd be living her life. And she was an amazing mother. This was my own perception as as a child who didn't have a dad and who needed her to be there. She did all these things, but she she was amazing. I'm wondering what Kate Hudson's going to say about this. Yeah, that just seems kind of weird out of left field. Kris Jenner has a whole lot of grandchildren to look after. You know, she's got 13 now in total. That's a lot of products stocked in her house. Ranging from four months to 14 years old. Now, she was at this luncheon. She shared that it's tough to make sure she devotes time to her sprawling family. This was the part I thought was really funny. She was like, I thought maybe I would take them to dinner individually. But she said that would take too much time. But here's the part I thought was interesting. I thought if I did that, that would take half a month, blah, 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 blah. But I think I would go broke. And then she talked about Mason Disick, who's the eldest. He's 14 years old now. She said she promised to buy him a car if he avoided drinking and drugs. Quote, and what I realize is that I have to do that 13 times. I'm going broke. Wait a second. Chris Jenner, you're like a billionaire. You can't take the kids to dinner? What? A bit of a reach. Don't you think her saying that she would go broke is a big reach? Yeah. Calm down, Chris. That's your celebrity sleaze. And hold on, Barnes, uh, we need to talk. What do you mean we need to talk? We, we've we got some issues. You can't do that. We have issues. I'm getting calls. We, yeah, we got to clear this up. Uh, next, like in five, ten minutes next? Mm-hmm. I don't like yeah. when people do the we need to talk and then they go about their business like nothing's happening. Yeah, just keep going about your business. <sighs> okay, I guess we're going to talk. After yeah. Goo Goo Dolls, this is The Morning X. It's 99X.